Well, just about anyone who's built their own home can share stories about delays, cost overruns and other dramas they hadn't bargained on. Well, there is another option. We're told it's cost effective and it could see you move into a brand new house in just eight weeks. This is really brilliant. And the wall is very solid. You're looking at the future of the great Australian dream. How many bedrooms is there? Uh, three bedrooms. Energy efficient, compact and up to a third cheaper than homes of a similar size. Welcome to our home. Waco Tao from Powerhouse Homes can get you and your family into one of these for $160,000, eight weeks after you order one. And we're standing in the kitchen here, which is a long yes. galley type kitchen. It's not big, yes. but it's quite functional, isn't it's very it? Very functional. It's got air, everything you need for a typical kitchen. All club glazed window throughout the house. That's helped earn the design a 5.4 star energy rating from Australian standards and a big tick for lovers of the outdoors who don't want to leave the house. That's the signature design of all our homes. We have an internal courtyard, about nine square. So a nice day, have a barbecue out there. You can even order furniture and fittings, from lounge suites to curtains to beds or even bedside lamps. It depends on your taste, of course, but Waco says 10 grand will kit out an entire house. It's beautiful. It's actually really beautiful. You think you can live here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, building a finished home from scratch in two months takes a lot of forward planning. But if one thing's for certain, the builders will never be short of materials. In fact, the frameworks have literally fallen off the back of a truck. They're made from shipping containers. So chances are your home's been around the world several times before you get to move in. So what we're looking at essentially is an architect's version of playing Lego. Absolutely. Uh, Zvonko Osanik is head of design. Show me how you built this place. Well, here we are. We've got four standard uh, 12 metre containers. Uh, we've, we've arranged them in this, in this manner here. Uh, this is the front door. The trick is to open up these modules so that we do have flexibility within this floor plate to, to have the larger spaces. Some people think that moving into modular housing means that you're downgrading your lifestyle. Well, actually, you're not. Brian Haratsis from property research company Macro Plan Australia says modular homes aren't just a means of meeting demand. These houses will reduce prices by enabling a much broader range of employees and people to supply that housing. So if thinking outside the square is the way to solve our national housing shortage, it's not just shipping containers you might want to consider, there's also the do-it-yourself option. We should save around forty to fifty thousand dollars building this way. Larry and Kirsty Crisp are back on their feet. This is the entry into the house. After losing their house on Black Saturday, they bought a kit home, steel frame, components, and internal walls. The frame was up in days. Yep. They've spent four months fitting out the thirty-five square home, and according to James Folwell of Widespan Sheds, they'll make a tidy profit if they ever sell. For example, someone who might spend $180,000 on a home would then be able to resale their house for $350,000. Knowing at the end that it'll be, you know, our hands-on work that's got our family back to our property and in our nice new home. Unlike the shipping container homes, which are made to order in China, then shipped directly to the owner's block down under. We all don't want to spend all of our money on housing, and modular housing presents one real way to be able to give people a choice. Do you help with the moving in as well? <laughs> uh, we can talk to you. Yeah, we can talk. Okay. And there's more information on those homes at our ACA website. Still to come.